I found some of the screws uh, to to fit in there, and what I'm going to do is uh, cut off one side of the head of this bolt. I'll file it off, um, and then that'll give me a sharp edge, which will be the uh, the, the pour that actually goes and fetches the uh, the gear. Um, I shall drill that out there because I don't, that's not a bearing. I'm not quite sure what went on there. I might have had a screw in there, might um, oh, that might change things. Uh, I don't think I can use that as a bearing. Maybe I can. Um, and then that whole thing will uh, just go and get the teeth. So I've uh, taken that bolt, little screw, out of there and I've got it in my little vise. What I'm going to do is uh, file off one side of the head and that'll leave me with a fairly broad tooth because my pendulum can swing in both directions and if it does swing a little bit or get a bit of wobble I want it still to be able to uh, locate the uh, that, that two second tooth. What I'm going to do when I file it is I've got a little bit of copper foil there that I shall just sellotape onto the vise and I shall hold that in place and then I'll file the bit that I can see as I want to leave the other uh, side sorry about the dithering but I'm on high magnification um, on the other side here I want to keep that as a, a nice sharp uh, looking tooth um, I'll take the cutting edge off it as it were but uh, I, I, I can't machine anything that fine with what I've got um, but at least I can leave myself with something that's um, hopefully appropriate by the way I haven't done anything like this before uh, I don't know uh, much or anything about uh, clocks um, but this, this is just my ideas and ramblings of what I'm doing um, I'm not saying it's right, uh, but I guess uh, the proof of the pudding will be at the end of the video um, or the series. Uh, I should have a clock that works. So, but, uh, as I say, this, I'm, I'm not suggesting this is good practice or the way things should be done. It's just the way that uh, that I do things. Uh, what I was going to point out is that I've got a, a little bit of cornflake packet um, wrapped around that screw so as to uh, that hopefully stop the thread from getting damaged. This is a little universal sort of jig stroke clamp that I've made um, that uh, I can put up, uh, adjust the height of and uh, add bits to and, uh, and it's, it's, it's like a third hand and uh, this thread will take the camera so I'm going to put the camera on that uh, little stand because the tripod just gets in the way. You'll see what I've done here is I've, uh, well maybe you'll see what I've done here, I've filed away the head and I've just left that a little bit on the side and um, so the reason for that is I'm trying to protect the sharp face on the other one but uh, now I can uh, move over to uh, the left with the file and just take that bit off without without damaging that face there. So that's the theory anyway. Okay, I'll tidy that up. Um, okay, so that's, that's what I'm setting out to achieve. Be, uh, that go and get the gear like that. I may take that back edge off. But that's um, that's essentially what I was setting out to achieve. And the good thing is, uh, if if I <laughs> if I get this wrong, I can replace it because I've got one or two more of those bolts. Um, I'm just going to take uh, 
this this little mechanism air off because uh, I can't see how how it's going to uh, be helpful to me unfortunately but uh, this is not a precision drill Okay, this is what I had before I took it off and um, what, I would, what I want to do is fit the, the, this little claw there but it, uh, I need the frame here because I need the hands and the face to clear the pendulum and if I use this as it was it would have pushed this mechanism too far back let's say I can't move the frame back uh, now I've taken it off it, I'm left with a quite a large hole where that was and that hole's a bit bigger than I really want to use but what I might do is simply put that piece on the other way uh, it's got the shoulder still and it's got a little screw hole that I can bolt that on there and then I can fix that to the pendulum or some mechanism on the pendulum and that'll that'll put it in the right place and it'll uh, allow me to re-drill through this little bit and have uh, uh, a, a smaller finer shaft which uh, is what I would like to use uh, I think uh, I could simply have a, a large bearing surface here but I, I think I just want a, a smaller bearing surface and uh, I can get that with that okay change of plan again guys um, I found this little boss in the uh, box and um, uh, the, the part that has just the right uh, diameter uh, boss to go in the hole that I was left with there and I think this might make uh, a nice uh, uh, a nice easy going uh, little uh, little bearing surface there and uh, what I'll do is uh, drill through there and put uh, this bolt through um, and that, that little bolt uh, is long enough to go through the pendulum uh, if uh, if I want to. I was hoping to have some mechanism uh, that allows me to move this left and right um, re uh, relative to the frame and the clock and the pendulum so that I could sort of uh, select the, the best position uh, to have it uh, picking up on that uh, two second gear. Um, but uh, I'll see what happens. But that's that, that's where I think I'm going. Well, talk about making my mind up. Um, uh, when I uh, look at this part again, you remember this with the little adjuster on there. I took this mechanism off it. Uh, this uh, this was on there, um, but it actually leaves me with a boss sticking out. And that boss is a, a perfect fit for that. So now I've got the option to have something like that and uh, put that little C clip back on. And that would give me that little adjustment uh, feature that I showed you before, which um, I just might not be able to resist. That would be very useful, although it's, it's pushing everything a long way away from where I want it. Um, but uh, as they say the possibilities are endless aren't they um, but, uh, we'll see I'm trying to get a feel for what this little magnet uh, is capable of a little electromagnet so I've got some scales here and uh, I've got a little bolt there and uh, that fella weighs in at uh, 300 grams or thereabouts yeah, just uh, around 300 grams and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got the power supply there and I'm just going to increase the volts and see uh, what happens 
So uh, there's the coil. I've got a gap of about six millimeters between the bottom of the coil and the top of the bolt. And uh, I just can't get the camera in the right place to see everything I want at once. So say that's 300 grams there. And then as I turn the voltage off, uh, so you'll see the uh, weight diminishing. 25, 30 volts, no, almost 30 volts on the current limit. I think. Um, oh, there you go. And <laughs> the uh, okay, the uh, little bolt has been whipped off the uh, magnet. Let's switch it off. Um, uh, okay, so that's 300 grams at 30 volts with a six mil gap. What happens, in fact, as the uh, as as the weight diminishes, the gap closes. Um, because it's, uh, it appears lighter um, and I certainly don't want a 30 volt clock okay the same setup but uh, now I've set the gap at uh, four millimeters with a drill and um, we just put the volts on that's 20 volts or 22 volts and uh, that's a hundred grams just to if you're not familiar with grams um, that's a, a 50 gram weight of uh, brass okay so a little 50 gram weight so um, it's it's effectively twice the weight of that that is heavy um, so in terms of pulling a pendulum that's a, a heck of a lot of uh, uh, force again the same thing but now I've set the gap to one millimeter and uh, zero volts five volts what's that that's uh, 20 grams uh, 20 grams that's equivalent to a lump of brass that's a little uh, brass weight there and that's um, uh, well let's have a look about 22 millimeters um, by six millimeters so what's that three quarters of an inch by quarter of an inch of brass um, and that's for five volts uh, that's that, that's very interesting that's a, a lot of pull on us on a little pendulum as I go oh, it's it's pulled it off now so at six volts it's actually lifted 300 grams uh, the, the gap of course uh, gets smaller as uh, as the weight reduces um, but uh, it says you know five volts is uh, uh, huge they say it, oh, yes. um, like a little dumbbell this is so uh, I'm gonna have tons of power um, from a, a low voltage system